Okay, now let's work on this date. Whenever the user clicks the date, we need to filter all the doctors available in this particular date from our database. So let's first make a route. So in api.php, I'll make one post route. And my route is this route post find doctors and find doctors as a method in a front end controller. So here I'll make the method. So public function find doctors request request and here I have to find the doctors based on uh, based on the date uh, that we sent to our endpoint. So appointment and here I can write I'll get with the doctors same like as ever doctor which is our relationship in appointment table and I have to uh, look for the date so where that a date in appointment table should be the date that is coming from the request so request and we'll receive this as a date we'll receive this as a date okay and get and then let's return the doctors return doctors okay now let's go to the view component and we'll send uh, we we'll send as request to this particular endpoint with the find doctors okay so let's go to the find doctor dot view and here we have the clickable event so whenever we click here we need to send and the ASX request from here. So in the custom date, we'll write here ASX request. So we'll send here ASX request. So access dot post and it's the API slash find doctors D O C T O R S doctors. Make sure the spelling is correct. So it's the find doctors and I'll paste exactly the same here. Find doctors and we are sending uh, the this time. And based on this time, you can see here we are looking for that doctors based where we are looking for the doctors or any records based on that date. Okay, so let's change this time. So here I'll give the two color brushes, and then I want to send this as a date because uh, we receive your request date as a date. So let's make this as date. And what are we going to send? So we're going to send this time this dot time and then here we'll have the response th and then response and if this is success then we'll push all the records whatever response we get in the doctor salary and everything is looped here from the doctor salary okay and here we can write the response dot data and if something error goes then you can catch this catch error and let me alert this a lot and I'll write just error okay now let's get this so what happened here is that we have the post request here find doctors and uh, you know that uh, we have the find record and here we have the API slash find record and we are getting we are sending this time whatever we get the time we are pushing this time into the time and we are sending this time here as a date and we receive this as a date and we are receiving this here as a date and based on this we are checking if there is any record in the appointment table or not so now this should work perfectly so let's see and if I click uh, 80 and you can see it's working and I have one record if I click 19 17 so we don't have any record for 17 we have the two records two doctors available for this date which is 16 and we have zero so whenever there is no record let's give that let's give the message that uh, no doctors are available uh, for this particular date so we can give this type of message so in the component here let's give that message so it should should be here we can give here just after this last year i can give this here and i'll make this td and so i'll check if b if 
So ductus, which is array, I can write LE and ZT as length. This gives the length of that array. If this is equals to zero, we don't have any ductors. So no ductors available. API available for this particular date. I can write this dot this dot time. So now let's see this. So if I click here and you can see no doctor available for this particular selected date and if I click here now I should have one doctor and you can see I have one doctor and if I click here I have a two doctors and if I click here I can see all the appointment time and I can book one of the appointment time for this doctor. Now the last thing here I like to do is I want to increase the width of this date picker and to increase the width of date picker I have to give the date I have to give the class here so let's give the class class I'll give this my date picker date picker and then we need a calendar class as well C A L E and D A R calendar class and this will be the my date picker underscore calendar C A L E and D A R calendar now let's give the style here and here I'll give a style so S T Y L is style and S C O P D sculpt and I can give it dot my date picker dot my date picker underscore C A L E N D A R calendar and now let's specify the width and height of our calendar. So width I'll give the 100% and the height I like to give 300 pixel. Now let's save this. Now we should have bigger calendar like this. So if I refresh and you can see this is a bigger calendar. So now still we can filter. So for 17 we don't have record. For 18 we have one record. For 16 we have a true record. So great. So we learn how to implement the Vue.js dead picker and dynamically load the result without reloading the page. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video.